What do you want? Everything on the counter? Everything on the counter. It's Sunday morning. It's a little bit damp out. It's a little bit of a damp morning. That means time to hit a garage sale. We've been hitting garage sales uh, the last few weeks on Sundays. And so far they've been okay for us. They've been doing all right. Um, we're gonna go hit a garage sale right now that is Sunday only. And those are the ones that usually, you know, bring decent things, <laughs> at least from our experience so far, um, especially on Sunday, because a lot of people aren't looking to go to garage sales on Sundays and they're just not like, they're just not as common. So when people have Sunday only garage sales, usually there's not a lot of people there and there's some good stuff. In the igloo? Oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole house. That's cool. This one of those before. Those counter machines. What is this? A money counter? Yeah. Don't worry, you don't have money to count. Oh gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Or something. I'll ask her what she wants for this clock. This what clock is, is cool. Feels heavy. Oh, babe, I want that. How much is that? The pool? <laughs> it's nice. This is a nice house. Is this your house? Was. <laughs> we just sold it. What do you have on this clock here? Uh, you're going to have to ask her. Okay, I'll ask her. You hear? You hear You're not that? doing that any, is, no pricing? That's the smart <laughs> husband right there. I'll <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see that, that don't, don't, yeah. <laughs> you just recently married? Right? Yes, we just got married a month ago. Think about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's goodness. I need backup, I need backup. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on this clock right here? My son oh, is $3. Three dollars. Three bucks, and okay. it does work. Okay. We've used it all. Everything here works. Everything here works? Yeah, my son just got married yesterday. Oh, did he really? Oh, Congrats yeah. to him. Yeah, kind of all over. What about this uh, baseball glove here? Uh, Ten bucks. Ten bucks? All right. We get all kinds of cool stuff here. Oh, the heated mugs, you're yeah. saying? Oh, here's you got it made right now. <laughs> Wake up on a Sunday morning, watch some TV, have some coffee, and sell stuff out of your house. That's, that's pretty. It. That's that, what to do. That's pretty awesome, let me tell you. And she goes out and buys stuff. <laughs> Everyone wins. Yeah. I like it. She's a hoarder. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> She's a hoarder? You have a sink downstairs. Oh boy. Let's see how much it is. What do you want? Everything on the counter? Everything on the counter. What do you want for what it? You mean all those new things? Yep. Like this? Everything. Stuff you're saying? Every yeah. The belts and and, and sure enough. Uh the, the one thing that's... I'm gonna sit next to you because yeah, I feel the yeah, pressure right here. Me. Feel the pressure? Yeah. yeah I'm chilling. The, the, the Ralco is expensive. I know that one was. Like, all right. Which one? At ten dollars a piece. Ten bucks a piece. Okay, so what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. That's on my right or what? I don't know. How about fifty bucks for it all? No, it's too cheap for me. Too cheap? Yeah, I'll just give them like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know what I paid for them. The, the coffee mugs were about 24 bucks, 25 bucks a piece. That, those two. These? Uh, these two were expensive. That, the one over, one over. The remnant. Yep. That was expensive. So, how many things are there? You said 10 bucks a piece for each thing, right? No, if that's you buying them all. If you're buying them all. Okay. okay. You get a discount when you buy them all, boy. Right. So every, what though? I want to, I want to make sure of what? So just what you just pointed. All that all, stuff. All this stuff? Yeah. This, this from here, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I get a special deal on my muggy? Your muggy? Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to take one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I put that on there. <laughs> you just bought two wife for presents. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to hang out here today. You can go. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. The problem is he won't pick me up later. So this big pile of stuff here. So add it up. You, so trust you. ten bucks a piece. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seventy. 
80 and then three dollars for the little clock so 83 okay okay 20 40 60 80 there's 80 let me get you three I got the money. She's got the. I don't know what she's got. You lent him the money. Oops. One, two. Look at that. Perfect. Three bucks. She lent you the money when you got it. I got a. I got a bag in my backpack. You want to grab it? We came prepared. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You want some free, free uh, uh, fish tablets? Those are free. What are they? Oh, the, oh, the uh, fish oil things. Yeah, I don't, you want them? I tried them at one time. And you don't like them? Well, no. I read uh, with all the other medication I take. Yeah. There's a reaction. Oh, yeah. Yep. Makes a blood thinner. So, and it's never been open, yeah, but you can see the seals are on. You freebie. Take it. Feed it to the fish. <laughs> it's good. They won't know they're eating themselves. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Thank you very much. Would you do 50 on this? You, the, the man that likes to talk oh. to on the couch, can you ask him? <laughs> I'll ask him. Special thing. Okay. I had a hard time to get him to even put it out. Oh, jeez. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to ask him yeah. then. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> I bet he'd take 50 for it. Really? It's a really good system. His nephew, uh, he'll probably tell you the, a story about it, but 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 it's a very good system, and his nephew works for both. All right. Oh, uh, I can see that. Yep. I don't know. What do you think? Yep. You know that other $40 even. It's a Bose, though. Well, do you want me to bring this to the car? Do you want to ask him or not? I have a question. Would you take 50 for the Bose thing? Boy, that's, that's I asked your I asked your wife and she said to ask you. So she said what, your son works for Bose or something? My nephew. Your nephew, okay. The head of Bose. Really? Yeah. Wow. From the East Coast and the Mississippi the East Coast. Uh, I know that they were three hundred dollars a million. Yeah. I could go seventy five. That's about it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. It's no, fine. Cause, cause I get, just give it to my kids. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I get it. Kids. Five. Oh, wow. See, see, I don't, uh, that way, when one walks in, get out of here. Put them in your truck. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Take it. No. All right. No. Not a problem. Have it's a good day. Goodbye, but, yep. You know, not a, not a problem. The original Bose one, two, three. Yep. You know, so, yep. and the base works, everything works. Yep. Okay. Have a good day. You have a good day, too. All right. We'll see you. I tried. He didn't oh, want to do it. Really? <laughs> yeah. <I'm surprised. laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, so that Bose system. I was hoping that he would take a better price on that where I bought so much from him, but he was he was firm. But that's all right. Uh, I don't did... think it was really heavy, really big and bulky. I didn't want to spend any more than 50 bucks on that. I don't even know how much it's worth because it's definitely an older system. So I didn't want to risk it, especially it being such a heavy and pain in the butt to ship sort of item, you know? Yeah, and his wife did say that it was like his baby and that yeah. it took her a lot to get him to even sell it. So once it, she said that, though, I'm like, he's not going to go down. He's hoping nobody buys that. Yeah, so whatever. Not a big deal, but that was a great sale, though. We did really well. I think we'll make... I could be wrong. I got to look it up. But I think we'll make a lot of the money back just on that clock that she sold me for three bucks. I think that's probably at least a $50 clock, oh. I would think. I could be wrong, but I think like a lot of those clocks, I comped them out real quick, not the exact one, but a lot of the, I forget the brand, Howard something. Uh, it's really heavy. It feels like a expensive clock. That's what caught my eye. It is cracked a little bit, which is the kind of, yeah, the grass, the glass is cracked. So I don't know, we'll get a lot of the money back there. And then I got to comp everything else out. Um, and then the, actually that Nike baseball glove I got, that's, that's some good, good money too because it's brand new with tags and it's a nice glove anyway um we'll bring all this stuff home and go through it with you show you what we got and uh we'll try to comp some of the stuff out too so we know kind of what we're looking at as a recoup so all these sunday sales are really uh treating us well 
I didn't know that was going to be like an estate sale. That was just, I mean, it said yard sale. I mean, it's not an estate sale in a way. Well, yeah, but it pretty they're, much they're, was. It's a move-in sale. That's yeah. literally what they listed it as. Yeah. So. But anyway, yes, yeah, so that was awesome. All right, so we're home. Uh, here is the hall. We're going to go through all of it with you. I actually just got done listing most of it here. Um, let's start with, first of all, this clock. So at this sale, it's kind of cool. It was like this guy and this lady, they were uh, moving. They sold their house. And Vic. What was his name? Vic. Vic. Uh, they were moving. They sold their house, and they were getting rid of just extra stuff that they had around their house. And um, did I overpay for this deal? Mm, yeah, I, I paid a little bit too much, like a lot more than I wanted to. But the only reason why I paid what I did is because it was all new. Like a lot, everything he had on the counter there in his kitchen was all brand new stuff. Um, and some stuff was worth is worth more than other stuff is. So um, if you look at just like the overall value of everything I bought versus what I paid, is there profit there? Yeah, there's profit there. Uh, not crazy margins, especially for a yard sale or anything like that. But um, I don't know. I think the deal breaker of this deal is going to be this clock right here and where I'm, I'll make most of my profit um, after everything is sold. So this clock right here, the reason why I picked it up is because it was really heavy and it caught my eye, first of all. Um, it was really heavy. I think, I believe it's made of brass. The brand is Howard Miller. And it has uh, the date, and I don't know what this, or the day, sorry. And then I think this is the date. I think that's what those are. And then it has like a moon thing here. I don't think those work too well. This one is definitely disconnected. I opened up the back here and looked inside, and I put a new battery in the, in the thing. And the clock was going around, so we'll just have to test it to see if it keeps good time or not. And it has this Crest Club logo on it too, which I don't know. It says from 1990, whatever the heck that is. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, and then, so yeah, it was, it's a cool clock. Uh, it is cracked, so it does have that blemish. It's cracked there, which is kind of eh. But, um, and then the other reason why I picked this clock up was because of the stamping that it has on the back. If you guys can see there, it actually says West Germany. So, because West Germany is no longer a country. Oh. What? I was going to say, and what do we know about West Germany? What? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. So is this clock worth a lot of money? I don't know. I was thinking maybe at least 40 bucks, maybe upwards of 60 bucks for this clock. I'm not sure. It is in a little rough condition with the crack there. And uh, it's a little loose too. I need to uh, tighten the screws in the bottom of the base to get it to. Uh... So it needs a little TLC, but we'll we'll mess around with it and see see what we can do with it. Oh my gosh, it is heavy. But I only got that thing for three bucks, so not bad. I picked this thing, we got this thing, Flashlight Clock Protocol. Uh, it's just like a cheap little flashlight clock, I guess. <laughs> it looks like it has a uh, a light on the end there, and it has the date and the temperature. It's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool little piece. Um, not super valuable, like 12 to 15 bucks on that. Um, if that's well, somebody's dream, it's freaking priceless. That's right. Keep on dreaming, you crazy dreamers. <laughs> then we got this, uh, all of this stuff is brand new, by the way, guys. Uh, then we got this um, pair of mini binoculars. I thought these were kind of cool. I actually used to have a pair of these. I sold a pair on eBay recently. I think it was uh, the same brand, even. And uh, I think I sold them for like 10 bucks, just out of the box, so. You see that? You try to get rid of it, it comes right comes back. Comes right back. So I think, yeah, maybe like 15, 20 on that thing. And then we've got this thing right here. We've got a perfect fit, no hole belt. <laughs> Basically, it looks like the belt is just like a giant clamp and there's no holes on it and you just tighten it to what you need it to be. Yeah, you probably need so. to keep that. Yeah, I probably do. I don't know, maybe 10 bucks on that. Uh, and then, this is where a little bit more of the profit comes in. Uh, is this hidden ratchet system? Uh, hidden ratchet system? Yeah, see, it's like a ratchet. Kind of cool. And then we picked up this um, Remington uh, Lithium Power Series Precision Cut Razor, and it comes with a travel kit, and it's brand new. Uh, this I scanned this into eBay. There's not many listed of this of this model, 
But uh, the ones that are listed are up there for like 50 bucks. So not bad on this. I they can sell it. Um, for one of those. I might even need to scan it into Amazon actually. I did list it on eBay. If it doesn't sell right away, I'll scan it into Amazon and see what it's going for in there. But what's that? I've been looking for one of these. You have? Oh, well, there you go. And we have another brand new razor here. This one is a little bit cheaper. This is probably only like a fifteen to twenty dollar uh, inside it has model. A travel kit, Ron. Yeah, I said that's got a travel kit inside. Oh, I was pretty good, right? And the words coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to me when I talk. Oh my gosh! Like I said, he needs so many. I know we've got a bunch of razors. Look at this. So there's that one, oh, and then yeah. this one has a nose trimmer. I like this. Oh, one. does it really? Yes. Oh wow! I need this one. Tim. Trim them nostrils. And Pam actually picked this up. I don't know, I, I listed this on eBay, Bay, so I don't know if you wanted to keep it, but I did list it. Yeah, so I listed it on eBay for, I think this was only like a 20-ish dollar sort of piece. Uh, brand new, it's a heated mug that plugs into the 12 volt outlet in your car. It's actually kind of cool. It, uh, it's got a digital LCD screen on it, so it shows the temperature of your beverage, and it's programmable, and it holds temperature for hours, it says. Kind of neat. Well, it's plugged in, I hope it is. Yeah. Listen, I can't guarantee you that somebody might buy this tonight. <laughs> Maybe. Well, then you'll lose out if that happens. What if that person's me, Ron? And look at this. We get doubles of everything here. We got another one. Actually... Tell me about that one. I don't know if I like that one better. Then we've got this one, plug-in auto heat mug. This one seems a lot more boring. It doesn't have the LCD screen and stuff. <laughs> well, gosh knows I break everything, so maybe it's Yeah, maybe this one's better for you, because it's boring. I listed on eBay, so let me know. What? I'll have to take the, eBay, the listing down. Did you just down. say it's better for me because it's boring? Yeah. Huh. What does that make you? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> And then finally, I picked up this glove. Um, originally at the, at the yard sale, I didn't even really look at it uh, that that closely, but I thought it was a baseball glove just off uh, off hand. It's actually a softball glove for girls. It's a fast pit fast pitch softball glove. Yes. I would just like to retract your last statement about it being for girls because I believe that men also play softball. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess so. The re only reason why I say that is because if you look on this on the tags, it's new with tags. It has this woman playing softball. Well, that's, that's why I said that. <laughs> but anyway, this is a really nice glove. Um, I would say that this glove is probably at least a fifty dollar glove, um, especially being new with tags and everything. Uh, it's really you can tell it's it's good quality. It's a nice glove. Got it for ten bucks. So definitely definitely a pretty good haul. Uh, there's there's definitely profit here, even though we paid. Paid a little more than probably I really wanted to, but I, I would I just wanted to buy from this guy because he seems cool and I don't know. Anyway, what? That's your violin. My violin. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the haul from this garage sale. Um, I'm really enjoying these Sunday garage sales. Um, they've been treating us well lately, at least, because uh, Saturdays for the past probably like month and a half have been a little bit dry and it's been tough to kind of find good sales with good stuff. Yeah. Cause it's getting late in the year and you know it's just not like it was but sunday sales have been great so we're gonna keep hitting those if they're available so anyway that is this haul and that is the end of uh this video i guess so thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night evening day morning whenever you're watching this <laughs> and uh we'll see you guys later keep dreaming you crazy little dreamers and maybe no one will buy this month so i can keep it